You may not have made the PGR, but if you main Samus, then Quick is a name you should know. Heck, if you like Samus or want to learn about the European Smash scene, Quick is a name you should know. My Revenge's own Quick is Germany's best ultimate player and Europe's second best player right behind Gluttony. And we do mean right behind. While Quick has yet to knock Gluttony out of bracket, he regularly takes sets off of Gluttony and brings the French Wario to last game, last stock situations, even in the sets he loses. And he does all this with Samus, a character widely considered mid-tier. If you want to get your mid-tier hero on and push up the bracket, be sure to check out ProGuides.com for more tips to help you improve. We'll have guides for your favorite characters and for your least favorite characters. Seriously, watch guides on the characters you don't play too. They can really help in giving you matchup advice to overcome them. Without Quick, Samus might not even be considered mid-tier. At the start of the game, she vacillated between low and mid-tiers depending on the person making the list. Very few people put her anywhere near high-tier. As Quick rose up the ranks in Europe, he brought his main with him, and now he's even bodied Mr. R enough times to make him put Samus in high-tier. But seriously, what Quick has done with Samus is remarkable. The truth is, one character specialist can bump a character up like Raito does with Duck Hunt or Brood did with Plant. But it's not all guaranteed. Zaki does well with King Dedede, Big D does well with Ice Climbers, Nick C does well with Falcon, and Kep does well with Villager. Still, these characters hover around the same spot on a lot of tier lists. If a player brings their main up the tier list, then chances are they play the character in a way no one really saw coming. And that's absolutely the case with Quick and why we want to talk about him. While there are other great Samus players out there like Joker, YB, and Advo, Quick is the best Samus to learn from, both for having the best results and the largest pool of available videos. So today, we're going to see how Quick wins so much with Samus. Buckle up, and get ready to hunt bounties and destroy the competition like Metroids, because this ain't your everyday Wi-Fi Samus. First, let's talk playstyle. And those Wi-Fi Samuses. At first glance, Samus looks like a super stereotypical zoner. She has three different projectiles, two of which have great range. In the early meta, people treated her like a stereotypical zoner and played at range, but this style doesn't utilize all of Samus's tools. It also took a direct hit when Nintendo nerfed the shield damage of all projectiles. Samus's meta took a while to develop for two reasons. First, it seemed like there were characters that just did what she did better than her. Snake, Rob, Pac-Man, and Olimar just seemed like they could zone better. And second, the old style still works on Wi-Fi. The lag that comes with online play makes it so you can't react to projectiles you normally could. Offline opponents will just shield long-range charge shots on reaction. Online, that lag means you can't block as many charge shots on reaction. Samus's can be much more spammy online and succeed, to the point that Wi-Fi Samus is almost a meme. The first thing to understand is that Quick plays a much, much more balanced style than your average Samus. While Quick will retreat to the corner of a stage and abuse the range gap between his opponents, he'll also take the fight to his opponents regularly. And he needs to do that to compete against top-tier rushdown mains like Gluttony and Mr. R. For proof, watch how he starts off this match against Mr. R. As soon as the word Go appears, he hits with a Zer, then goes in and combos Mr. R for over 50%. In this case, Quick isn't being aggressive or defensive, he's playing balanced. He sees Mr. R running in on him and realizes he can take advantage of the aggression by counter-hitting rather than by retreating. This balanced playstyle suits Samus more than a pure defensive playstyle because Samus has incredible damage potential. Most of Samus's moves do around 10% on hit. On top of that, Samus can combo at pretty much any percent using lots of different moves. Against Mr. R, we see Quick use a mix of Zares and Up Airs to combo. We can also see Quick use Forward Air to combo into Down Tilt, and Charge Shot to combo into just about everything. Seriously, Charge Shot might be one of the best combo starters in the game. Hard to believe, right? But think about it. Charge Shot can have different knockback and startup depending on its charge. So, the Baby Charge Shots opens up combos that Mama Charge Shot don't. On top of that, the charge shot locks opponents in place for a second, which lets Samus recover from lag and follow up. Whenever Quick lands a charge shot, he's immediately chasing the opponent, not firing more projectiles or waiting for them to recover. As Samus, you can get charge shot into down tilt, or charge shot into forward air, or baby charge shot into F tilt, or baby charge shot into dash attack, which can kill, or charge shot into down throw into fair. 
Wait, that was 52%? That's some Olimar damage right there. When you see Samus's kit and place in the game, it's super easy to think, oh, I should sit back and zone. But Quick proves that it's really important to play a balanced style where you're ready to push your opponent into a corner or combo as soon as you land a hit. And to be great at Samus, you have to juice every advantage and opening you get for as much as possible. That's because Samus doesn't have a bunch of super consistent kill confirms. For a long time, Samus's lack of kill power was her biggest critique. Quick gets around this by dealing so much damage. At about 180%, Samus has several ways to kill. She can up throw, forward tilt, and even up tilt. For most characters, not being able to kill until 180% would totally suck because their combos stop working at high percents and they can't do damage. But Samus never runs out of damage. Just like in her games, she can wail on a space dragon all day. If you still hate the idea of having to wait until 180% to get easy kills, then sorry to tell you this, but Samus might not be your character. You're gonna have to play the damage game at least sometimes. But there is a way to get early kills of Samus, and it's through her incredibly strong advantage state. For the uninitiated, advantage is when you have the opponent in a normally bad situation that limits their options. Some classic examples are at the ledge, off of the stage, or up in the air. It took a while for Ultimate players to discover this, but Samus actually has one of the strongest advantage states in the game. That means that she can keep opponents in a disadvantageous spot for longer and get more off of holding the advantage. This is how Quick builds that insane damage and gets kills at reasonable percents. In advantage, he basically turns Ultimate into a one-player Metroidvania game. A lot of Quick's best plays come from the ledge, and that's because Charge Shot can cover most ledge options with different timings and spacings. And if Charge Shot lands by the ledge, it's gonna kill early! In this match against MKLeo, Quick uses Charge Shot to catch a roll, and then uses it to catch a normal getup right after. This is also a super consistent strategy. Quick can and does replicate the same scenario over and over by standing about roll distance from the ledge. Here, his charge shot is quick enough to catch either roll or normal getup. He just has to learn the timings for each and either react to the option or pick correctly. If you're looking to get good at ledge trapping, you need to learn where to stand to catch the roll and the charge shot timings for invincibility frames on roll and normal getup. But this is far from Samus's only strategy and advantage or at the ledge. Samus can also drop a bomb to cover the normal getup range. And she can use her large forward air to cover jumps and aerials. As a super potent mix-up, Samus can run off neutral air to edge guard too. And Quick uses this option brilliantly against vulnerable recoveries. A lot of players assume back air is Samus's best aerial, but Quick mostly uses it to punish air dodges and obvious landings. The more important aerial is forward air. One of Quick's common neutral patterns is to use Samus' projectiles to condition opponents to jump and dodge them. Then he uses a screw attack to punish any cross-up attempts. That only leaves a forward diagonal route open, and he covers that route with forward air. Forward air is surprisingly tough to punish too, especially when Samus has the stage control to use retreating aerials or keep opponents off platforms. Quick actually uses Samus' floatiness to his advantage, making his landing time hard to read. Quick even uses forward air to get out of disadvantage and turn around ledge pressure. Since Samus has such a strong advantage state, Quick spends neutral gradually pushing his opponents into a corner by covering ground options and catching jumps, or by whiff punishing with down tilts and charge shots. Once he's in advantage, he's either building big damage with combos or holding opponents in disadvantage with charge shot and forward air. Once they get focused on how to dodge the charge shot, he starts to use runoff neutral airs to mix things up. If you want to play Samus like Quick, you've got to keep attentive and creative. You need to know that Charge Shot opens up combos, and that Samus's hitboxes make her relentless in advantage and secretly kind of hype. And if you want to learn how to make hype plays with even more characters, head over to ProGuides.com.